Upavista Urdu Konasna R Urdu Upavista Konasna. You can call this way also. The first one is correct. Some people call uh, with the second hand, you know, second one also. So whatever it is, it is a sitting posture. You know? We have to practice this asana while sitting. So Upavista means sitting. Urdu means raised waist legs. Kona means hanging. So I'll show you the asana and then I'll explain about it. From this posture, stretch your legs. And then you need to raise the legs and hold the toes with two fingers or three fingers. Two or three, anything is fine. You can either raise and hold this way or you can hold here and then raise. Anything is fine. You need to stretch as much as possible. And let the body breathe. Stretch as much as possible and hold it as long as you can. To get the benefits out of it, you need to hold it for at least two to three minutes. So if you can't do, if you can't hold it, in one stretch, one round, you can hold it for 30 seconds or one minute, relax and then you can do it in three to five rounds also. That is fine. In between you can relax and complete two minutes or three minutes. If you are a beginner, if you cannot hold it for so long, you can start with 10 seconds, 20 seconds like that and then gradually you can increase it. So this is, this looks simple only, this is not that difficult. But many people cannot do this because they will have a lot of stiffness in the legs, in the spine. And also in this asana, we need to have the balance, otherwise we will fall back or you know, laterally sideways and then we will lose balance this way, you know, we will not get balance. So to get the balance, you need to practice, you know, basic asanas. If you practice naukasana also, we will get the balance this way. We will try the naukasana, right? If you can get the balance, then you can do this asana easily this way. It is all about balance and then flexibility in the legs and spine, that's all. So coming to benefits, it is very good for the legs, spine. And also awareness, balance. Focus. This will also help you to improve the balance, awareness, focus also. Because we are holding the asana in a specific post, posture and we are balancing the body. You know? we, are, we are not letting it go back or forward laterally. We have to hold it. And then this is very good for the nervous system, muscles, joints. It is good for the pelvic. So it is good for the menstrual related issues also. It is uh, good to reduce the belly fat. It is good for the lower back pains and all. So these days many people are suffering with the joint pains, especially back related issues. So if you do this asana regularly, you can stay away from those diseases. If you are already suffering with any of these problems, if you do this asana regularly, you can heal it. <laughs>